Alright, this is also in today's live to show how to solve this differential equation. I will first rewrite the equation x squared plus 1 y prime is simply divide dx is equal to x times y. Divide both sides by x and we should obtain x squared plus 1 divided by x times dy dx is equal to y. With x on one side without x on the other side, which means that we should bring this dy to the right. And we should have y times 1 over dy. And for the left hand side, we left x squared plus 1 divided by x times 1 over dx. Take 1 over for both sides, we should obtain x over x squared plus 1 dx is equal to 1 over y dy. Integrate both sides. For the left hand side, if we differentiate the denominator part, we should obtain 2x. However, the numerator is only x, which means a lack of 2. If we times 2, then this is imbalanced as compared to the previous line. So what we have to do here is take 1 over 2 in front. So which means that this is equal to 1 over 2 ln x squared plus 1 where we integrate. Remember to add the constant c for the term x and it's equal to 1 over y where we integrate is ln y. And what we have to do here is apply the law of logarithms. When we have 1 over 2 as coefficient, we can change to power. So which means that ln x squared plus 1 to the power of 1 over 2 plus c is equal to ln y. And we just have to take exponent for both parts. Recall that when we have exponent a plus b is equal to exponent a times exponent b. So which means that for the left hand side, we should have e to the power of ln to the power of 1 over 2 is simply square root x square plus 1 times e to the power of c and this is equal to e ln y e ln or ln a is equal to 1 1 times anything we get back the same thing so we have square root of x square plus 1 and let's say we don't want to have e to the power of c we can introduce another dummy we just have to add subscript 1 and here we let c2 be equal to e to the power of c1 so which means that we just have to time this with c2 and this is equal to e ln ln e equal to 1 1 times y we get back y and hence we already obtained the differential equation already solved okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you